What's up guys, Barry Gaming here back with some more Infinite Magic Raid and today you see Carrot here, we've been using him, we've been gearing him up, we got his stuff all set up, but you know what? I've kind of found a better solution to the red mark and it is in the form of a Timmy that I just built. Um, I originally thought, you know, we can't really do it because the boss that we're going up against in the red mark tower says you cannot steal attributes, however, if you can get Timmy to exclusive one, if the target has a shield, Energy Siphon removes the shield before damage, dealing damage and grants all allies a shield of the same strength. That sounds ridiculously powerful when going up against Thar. Now, how did we gear him up already? We already got his skills maxed. Um, we're kind of gearing him for hit effect to make sure things go off. Honestly, um, we could probably still build him for damage. Because I think this sh he has some other abilities. He gives like damage reduction. Allies receive less damage. The big thing on his laser jet is attacks a uh, single enemy and randomly attacks enemies five times each time dealing 70% damage. This skill also reduces the target's turn meter if they're above 50%. Otherwise, can uh, lower their chance to crit and their attack. And of course, he has speed down as well. So everything hit effect, hit effect, hit effect. Um... I don't remember if there's much hit effect in here. It's more like effect res and survivability. I think, honestly, I'm still going to build Timmy pretty offensive here. Now, his crit rate is really bad in our current build. That's mainly because we're trying to really get that hit effect going. Um, in reality, this is temporary, guys. This is not the optimal way to set him up. But I am going to set him up in a way that is going to make him more effective in the way that we're using him. So this is purely, purely going to be a way that we are trying to survive and get our Mark Tower done. Um, don't really care about those because nobody should be dying. So we'll do effect res. Yep, effect hit. Give me that. Yep, give me that. We also want cooldown of skills. Let's go with maybe with those. We definitely want this one over here. Um, whenever we successfully put a debuff on, there's a chance to increase its duration. And I think, I mean, we'll just go with the effect it for now. It's probably not going to apply in this situation. Let's see, we got one over here. Probably just the healing would be good. And then lastly, maybe just max HP or speed. Speed actually sounds really good. So we're gonna take Timmy into battle here. Hopefully he's our solution here, even more so than what uh, Carid was going to be. Wrong location, come on, here we go. Lore 28, let's take you out, let's put you in, let's go into battle. And we also have him up to E2 because we had three copies of him total which is you know a nice little perk to have a little bit extra damage works out let's turn this auto off immediately oh i hate i hate when auto carries over from a different mode so we're gonna just get some attacks in here now this is not really gonna do anything yet um honestly we can just do his active ability right now we'll do our damage reduction here this is going to be a big difference. I'm actually going to go for the weaker targets because of the way we now have E3 on him. That is a big difference. Um, because when it kills, it actually gets to attack another target, which is really huge. Lower that speed. Uh, however, we don't kill the target as fast. But again, I don't think it's an issue. Just getting these guys down, getting our healing up. Should be good. Let's see how much damage Timmy actually does. And remember, Sigmund, we've rebuilt him more towards damage as well. That's going to be a huge buff. Uh, Timmy actually gets to go first. Very interesting. And then the counterattack. Timmy doing a little damage. He's doing a little bit. Really, we just need him to survive for the next round. That's the big thing. So they're not as weak as they were with other damaging heroes, but seems like it's probably going to be enough. D 
Yeah, that's not bad because, oh wait, hold on, that did not kill him or her off. That's not great. Uh-oh. We're taking a lot of damage here. Mayday, Mayday, hold on, wait a minute. Don't lose any heroes in this first volley. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness, that was close. I was like, if we lose Catherine, we immediately lose this battle right here. So immediately, we're going to steal that shield off. We're going to get our counterattacks going. We are going to honestly just maybe start attacking the boss right away. Do some AoE damage, get some HP burn on them. Yeah, that kind of works out nicely. And then we can still work on the other enemies as well. I think everything for Timmy, though, is just literally going to go into the boss right now. Get some consolidation going here. Um, he does have a shield. Honestly, it's probably better to still work on the other enemies here. Try to work them down, get our healing game going. We're very tanky now because we have a huge shield here. Uh, we're going to save that, though, one more round because I want to wait till they get their big shield up. And now we're going to try to steal that shield, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, get our shield going here. Get another like, tap over here. Maybe she dies off. Steal that shield. Yeah, <laughs> gotta love it. Got to love it. Does she die here? I don't know, but I'm going for this side. Yeah, that was really good. And now we're down to the boss, and I think Timmy is going to make this boss an absolute joke compared to Carrot. Tons of counterattacks. Love to see it. Attack down all these different things going way down. Look at all these debuffs we got going. Get some shielding going. We're also slowing him down, which is amazing. We're going to give ourselves shields. We're going to give ourselves even more shields, more healing. Keep it going. Uh, we don't even need to remove the shield. We'll have to do that next round. Uh, but honestly, like our abilities are starting to really punch through. Now, we could also build Sigmund up to the point where we can deal damage through the shield, but we need a higher and uh, exclusive and we just can't get that on him right now. Whereas Timmy was a very, very, very easy solution to this battle sequence. We're just gonna keep going all in on this because I feel like we just need to keep our heroes alive for a few more turns and we should be in an amazing spot. Um, honestly, gonna lower his speed right there. Don't need to use the shield just yet. Try to stagger it a little bit more. Timmy says, give me that shield. Screw you. <laughs> Get rid of that shield. I guess he doesn't really steal it, but you know. Gets rid of the shield. Let's get some attack reduction, turn meter reduction. Look at all those debuffs. Normally, this should not be a thing, but instead, we now have a very, very easy victory. All thanks to my boy, Timmy. Boom. Oh, yeah. There we go. So who's the MVP here? Mr. Timmy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you have an E1 Timmy, that is the much, much better option. We even managed to three star that because of Timmy. Next up, we're going to be on the floor 29. Lots of damage here. This one can be a lot of difficulty, but we don't really care about that right now. We got our scroll here, which is cool. We had our carrot. Carrot can still do some really awesome things, of course. Uh, we are going to finish his skill upgrades right now because of that victory so he's all set and uh yeah timmy timmy's the man hopefully you guys enjoy this one see you guys next time